All right, so today we're in the reptile room feeding oranges and a bunch of other fruits and vegetables to my animals that need it. And these animals include millipedes, cockroaches, and maybe even the chameleon. I'm also gonna have a video of the dog near the end of this video. So if you guys enjoy the dog videos, you'll be able to see that today. So let's get on with it. All right, so right here, I got half of a banana. And right here, I've got some oranges that I cut up into little pieces. They are about like one inch pieces. And now let's take out each animal that needs it. First we're gonna go on this rack and over here, like in the last video, we're gonna have the millipedes right here. Then over here, we got cockroaches. They're in this old 30 gallon tank because these are really my feeders. So we're gonna take the lid off that and bring it a little bit closer. And then, which other animals do I have? Actually, you know what? I moved all my Madagascar hidden cockroaches into this too. Wait, no, I didn't. They're right here. All right, they are right here. They should be moved into something bigger. That's too small. I actually raised these up since they were little tiny babies, like the size of my pinky. The tip, it fit right there. It's crazy. They grew so much. But yeah, these are gonna get fed. These are gonna get fed. These are gonna get fed and misted. And the same thing with this. I'm trying to see if I have any other animals that need it. This centipede right here definitely does not need it. Um, everything's good. There's the carpet python. There's Oscar again. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. All right, so let's get started with these. I'm going to open this. So now I brought down the banana and the oranges and I went ahead and I got some lettuce and even some, or just one strawberry. Now if I put this lettuce inside of this cage, it's gonna be gone in a few minutes cause they eat it up like crazy. Uh, and here, they're not really too interested. The dubias aren't really too interested in the lettuce for some reason. Uh, the millipedes do like the lettuce. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead Cut it in half, drop it in for the millipedes, and then this little piece will go for these cockroaches when I open it. Uh, so for now, let's start with these oranges. I'm just gonna place a few around the cage evenly. That way millipedes on this side, this side, and this side can all get to the food easily. Strawberries mold easily. So this is something you gotta be careful if you're gonna use strawberries. So you just squish it, uh, some juice in there. Maybe watch out with the juice, I'm not really too sure. But uh, only one piece, because they already have enough food. The rest of the strawberry is going to go here. And that piece is a little, a little too big, so let's break it even more in half. And this last piece is going to go to the strawberries, I mean to the cockroaches, uh, and this one. So put that right on top of the lettuce. Now, doobie roaches go crazy over oranges. And if you feed doobie roaches oranges, they breed easier. So, as long as you have heat, feeding them oranges, and other uh, roach diet, you should be getting a good amount of babies like I have right now. So right now I'm just spreading these all across the tank. All the dubias are like under here, so you won't be able to see them. See, I got a bunch of babies in there. All right, I got like three more left. So I'll just drop this one over here. Or you know what? There we go, I'll put, I'll put it inside of here for them. I mostly have females right now because I fed off a bunch of my males to my leopard gecko. Now I'm saving this one for last because they tend to escape, so they're gonna have a lot of food in here, but it's okay because they eat a lot. Now this banana is probably overkill with all the food that they already have, but I'm still gonna add it anyway. And right now I'm just gonna chop it into pieces. All right, so now I got the bananas into pieces and if you can see, I left the peels. The peels are gonna be washed and then you put them inside of the millipede cage. And go ahead and place a piece of banana in your millipede cage. 
right here i'm just gonna throw some into the cockroaches and i'm gonna save one for the cockroaches over here and two pieces of orange now i can already see these roaches in here going crazy because they smell the food so i'm gonna go ahead and open this cage right now all right just got it open hopefully they don't all just run out all right got one right there first lettuce oh they're already coming out then banana then strawberry and then finally the oranges now he wants to go back in and this one's gonna stay up there and that is it my little baby roaches are all grown up and they're about to eat so now all my plant eaters are happy I'm not gonna feed the chameleon any vegetables today, but usually he likes to eat the lettuce and sometimes he eats strawberries and he loves blueberries. The same thing goes for the tegu. Blueberries are probably the favorite thing for him. So I think that about wraps this video up. I'm gonna play some dog videos. My Bull Terrier Zed, he's amazing. Such a nice dog. So I'll leave you guys with that. Thanks for watching. Ah. Mm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah. Yeah, a sunset cake. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. <laughs> Ouch. Yay. 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 Ouch. 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 Ouch.